So what's up, guys? I'm sure you guys are very curious about this title right here. No, it was not a priest. Uh, so we're going to crack into it here in a little bit. I'm going to make you wait a little. I'm going to tease you and took you, which is definitely not what happened my first time. But I will, uh, I'll let you guys keep uh, keep guessing. One thing I did want to mention right off the bat before I get sidetracked and don't mention it. I'm starting a new series here on my channel. Idea came to me. So many times I'm playing a game and the host backs out and we get fucked. You know what I mean? Uh, one of those games, for example, I've had a few of them. Actually, the video that goes up earlier today will be listed and it's one of those moments where i get fucked where i've got a couple chopper gunners to go and it could be a hundred kill game basically it's going to be you know what, what am i going to call it what am i going to call it host migration fml that's what i'll call it episode one so it's basically going to be where i'm playing a game the host backs out and it ruined an epic game that's pretty much what it's going to be so you know i'm going to post those games up with the big fuck my life moments and i'll give those up for you guys one more thing i do want to mention uh today if not today here soon a, a video will be going up you guys need to stay tuned to it. I'll mention I'll mention it on Twitter for you guys if you guys aren't doing it because I don't feel like making a, another video for today, another link video. And that is a video about where I do or where I want to know your guys' opinion on camping versus inter uh, versus yeah camping versus rushing. What's more entertaining on YouTube? Um, in my opinion, like I say and state in the video, uh, camping is very successful. A lot of people hate it, but it's successful. But it's not entertaining in my mind. Whereas rushing, no matter how good you are, can always be somewhat entertaining. And I want to apologize ahead of time. I mentioned fisticuffs in that video, and uh, it's not meant any any harm. I did say I think I said the gameplay where he put up a couple weeks ago was horrible, and I didn't mean any hostility about it. I just I don't know. I was just talking, didn't mention anything about it, and I don't mean he's a bad person or or anything like that. I know his typical gameplay was nothing about the video I mentioned in there. He doesn't typically camp. He usually is a rusher, so it's nothing about him. I wanted to apologize ahead of time if people flip out and think I'm you know gang banging fist. I'm not. I just you know, that's that's where the whole idea of the commentary came from. Therefore, I wanted to mention it in the video. And it was the same map, pretty much same game type, uh, with a couple differences in between, you know, our kill streaks were different. He had higher kill streaks. He was playing ground war. I mean, there were a few differences. But I just wanted to put the, and they were all on the same map. So I wanted to put those two gameplays together. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to battle it because some people think that you can't rush and have great gameplays. That gameplay was great. The one dropping today was like a 78 and 2 on jungle, uh, regular domination. I think that's a great gameplay. So some people think you can't be mobile or rush to do it. Some people think that you have to camp to get successful scores, and that's not always true. Um, so I wanted to squash that out of the way. And then, of course, of course, right off the bat, now we'll crack right into this. My first time, I know you guys have been waiting, and this is a weird fucking commentary right here. But uh, it this was a few years back, obviously, it was Am with Amanda. Amanda's the only girl I've ever been with. Um, I waited for her. Yeah, I know, soppy story, insert tear here. No, um, I waited for the right girl. And I couldn't have been happier. I had plenty of moments in high school, and I, I passed up on all of them because of, you know, Amanda. I was waiting for the right one, and, you know, I wasn't really ready to move on. I wanted to, you know what I mean? I was ready to be. I was just coming out of my shell. I was, you know, 17, 18 years old. You know, I was just trying to, you know, up the swagger a little bit. I was trying to get in there, meet new girls, have some fun, mess around. It's teenage years, right? My dad's always like, get all you can while you can, that kind of shit. You know what I mean? And uh, Amanda came along, and at that point I realized uh, – I'd easily sacrifice anything for her, even, you know, the whole single life, sleeping around, all that shit. None of that meant anything to me, and that's how I knew I love her. And, uh, you know, I'm proud to say we're going to be married here in a few months. I'll send out your invitations. Everybody's welcome to come. Part A. And, uh, but let's crack into our first time. I'm not sure if she'll approve of me talking about this, but it was awkward. You know what I mean? It was always, you know, we were watching a movie, decided, you know, she came on aggressive because I told her I was going to wait on her. Her parents are really religious. Her dad's, a, you know, a Navy man. He's a seaman. And, uh, you know, I, I, I waited. We were about six, seven months into our relationship, and I told her I'd wait for her, even if it means marriage. And I didn't have a problem with it. I wasn't meaning that. I never pressured her. We never did anything prior to, no handsy stuff, mouthy stuff, you know, phone stuff, nothing. We were we were just proper. We were just enjoying each other's company, getting to know each other. And the one day she just literally attacks me out of nowhere, man. Came out of nowhere with Ghost Pro and just fucking molested me. And I was like, no, mommy, help. And she was like, take it, bitch. And uh, that's exactly what she sounded like, too. Take it, bitch. And uh, we were sitting there. We were having fun. It was romantic, all that hot stuff. So we go to my room. Um, I didn't have a bed. Don't ask why. So we're sitting there. I put a pile of blankets on the floor. We're chilling out, having some fun. And uh, uh, in case you guys don't know, I used to work for Blockbuster. So, you know, I've got, like, the largest collection of games and movies out of anybody you probably know. I've got probably well over a 1,000 movies in between bootleg and and real movies, and, uh, you know, so I, I used to work there, and there used to be props, so during these props, uh, 
I wanted to keep one for target practice, BB practice, et cetera, et cetera, because, you know, I always like using airsoft shit in the house and everything like that. So there's a full life-size, a life-size fucking standout, cutout, cardboard cutout of Will Smith from I Am Legend. Yeah, that movie. So it, it's him sitting there holding an M16 with a fucking German Shepherd next to him, and it's life-size. So, you know, we're getting into it, we find out, and then she freaks out. And she looks over, and there's a big black man standing over us, and I'm like, what the fuck? Because it even freaked me out. I swear to God he was watching. I swear to God, you know, he was like, yeah, give her a little Hancock for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, man, come on. So, you know, it freaks us out. We look over. There's a big black man standing over us. We start laughing our asses off. She's uncomfortable. She makes me move him out of the room. You know, she didn't want him in the room anymore. And it was just awkward because Will Smith was watching us getting jiggy with it. So, you know, that's always it's always a weird story. You know, I don't think I've told anybody this story before. But, you know, we, we, we had sex while Will Smith, yes, the actor, comedian, bad rapper, was sitting there watching us get it on. And uh, that's about as awkward as a, as a moment can get. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys because, you know, there's always these weird stories. There was no romantic candlelight dinner, fireworks. It was just a black man watching us while we got it on. And uh, was, no, it wasn't in prison. It was in my bedroom. So, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Let me know what you guys think. Check out the video that drops today, guys. Get it.